Greek pasta. And I know you didn't copy that from AI. That was your own language. So that's pretty cool, Tim. But you are going to have to share that with and us. And this is how to do I want to laugh. All right. Here comes your brother. Is your brother dressed as Iron Man? Is he ready for Halloween? I don't get that. <laughs> Why is your, your brother looks like Iron Man. All right. Are you still calling him Billy? I worked hard on that nickname, you know. I want you to call him Billy because he looks like such a little Billy. <laughs> hey, is Billy a bully? Um, let's go to Red <laughs> Army. How are you, Red Army? Yeah, I'm fine. Good. How was your Sunday? My Sunday and have something special. Yeah, what did you do in there in Hanoi? Uh -huh, I stay at home and yeah. I relax. Yeah. Did you study? Yeah. But okay. um, just very comfortable. Yeah, very comfortable. Yeah. Uh, what was the weather like in Hanoi? Because on Friday night, my Hanoi students said it was 13 degrees and that's a little bit cold for them. Oh, now it's not 13, now it's 19. Oh, 19. So the weather improved. Yeah. All right. Hey, Jimmy, who's that person in your photo in chat? Is that your little sister? Uh, my little cousin. Oh, that's Australia. cute. Thank you, Jimmy, for sharing that. We have on Saturday, we have a pizza spammer. So it's nice to see just a nice picture. So thank you, Jimmy. Jasmine, how are you? Or you say Jasmine. Jasmine. How are you in Ho Chi Minh City, Jasmine? It's a, it's a meme. meme. Yeah, Jasmine. <laughs> All right. Jasmine, how are you? What happened? Mia the fairy. Oh, Mia is here. Mia, Mia. It's good to see you. What is Mia doing? Mia the fairy. <laughs> what? All right. And Daiken, I just read your paper. Thank you, Daiken. It's always a pleasure. Daiken, are you there? Yep, I'm here. Nice writing, Daiken. Maybe we'll share yours tonight, too. I went to... Uh, I, I went, uh, haven't read your corrupted file yet because I got to immediately go to, to have dinner after... Huh. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I didn't have time to Daiken, leave. Daiken, what did you get for dinner? Yeah, since like at that time, we don't, didn't have much much time. I was about to go and learn it like... Uh, 50 more minutes, and ah. my mom was like in a rush, mm. so she cooked me some Teacher, instant noodles. Look at the chat box. All right. Uh, uh, I sent a, uh, 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 a meme. A meme, okay. Let's check out Mr. Tim's meme. I was talking to Dyke and you had instant ramen. Uh, <laughs> All I'm seeing here is Jimmy's cute little Teacher, cousin share. here. Teacher, right. share my meme into the classroom, please. Hi. Well, you put it up. I don't see it. What is your meme? Tim? Uh, he sent us a uh, short. Oh, a YouTube. Oh, you know what, Tim? Oh, I can't, I can't. It's Vietnamese, guys. It's literally Vietnamese. Uh, now, you guys know, right? Did you study with teacher Michael last year or um, a few months ago? Can you <laughs> Tim, share we, can, No, can I can't share, share it. it. I, we can't share it. Screen. Don't share that. You know why? Because... Can I share it? We're live streaming on YouTube, and if you share a link on YouTube, it causes this crazy loop, and YouTube gets really angry if you mix live stream with live videos. They don't want you to do that, so I'm uh, sorry. Teacher, may I share the screen, please? No, you can't share the screen because you can't do YouTube during live stream, Tim. It causes technical problems, and YouTube gets really angry with our school. Did you know that? So I would love oh, to live stream, angry to our but, school. but we oh, can't no. do that. We can't do that on the screen. Have you guys heard about that? That's why I don't show videos, you guys. I want to show videos, and we're going to switch to a new system. I don't know when, because when you share videos on Zoom that are live stream um, during... But wait, wait. But why, teacher? Uh, my Vietnamese it causes teacher... what's called a loop, Tim. It's called a loop, and all of a sudden, the whole system goes crazy. And Tim, maybe you can... No. What? Yes, and Why? you can crash the whole internet. <laughs> uh, teacher, my what? Vietnamese teacher shared uh, a video and it never get loop. But was it during a Zoom? Yes. And was your Zoom being live streamed on YouTube? No. 
see that's we're being live streamed on youtube so other kids who can't join our class can watch our class which also means tim you have to have really good behavior oh because all these strangers are looking at you every saturday and sunday or something they're saying who's that kid <laughs> all right Ying, good to see my co-teacher Ying. how are you Yuin, Yuin is there. I just saw Yuin who sign is, up. Who is this? Who is this? What happened? Louis. Oh, hey, Yuin, nice to see you. How are you today? Thank you. I'm good. How are you? Okay. I was just explaining to Tim why we can't do YouTube videos during our class because yeah, we're live streaming. Yeah, I heard that. <laughs> yeah, Ms. Duke told everybody about that. So that's straight from Ms. Duke. So I'm not going to try to change that. I'm going to stay with that rule, so that policy. Yeah, so that's YouTube's policy? Yeah, because what it does, um, actually, it's YouTube's policy. They accept the live stream, but you can't show YouTube videos during the live stream because uh, it's like you're creating yourself as like a YouTube channel or something like this, and it's against their copyright laws. So they get yeah. really serious about it. <laughs> you in what city are you in? You told me before, but I forgot. I live in Yanshan. Okay, how's the weather? I'm asking all the people in the cities how their weather is. You know, it's like it's in the um, it's in the middle of Vietnam, so it's like yeah, yeah there's always there's uh, like only two seasons in our city, like hot and very hot. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I'm laughing because <laughs> Japan Japanese people always say we have four seasons: it's snow season, beautiful uh, fall, we have beautiful cherry blossoms, and summer. But my friend Ellen from Canada used to say, Japan only has two seasons, hot and cold. <laughs> we used to make us laugh. <laughs> yeah, I see. All right, Ewing, thanks for coming. Um, we're definitely going to use... Teacher, my loop is level infinity. Yes, that's exactly right. You're going to create a loop of infinity with YouTube. And uh, Tim, you're going to crash the whole uh, internet. That's only 10 seconds. <laughs> I'm going to uh, ask you this. All right, is my Danger to Lewis. Hey, Lewis. How are you? I read your paper. Nice work, Lewis. Thank uh, you. Very, very adult uh, paper. Uh, nicely argued, Lewis. Thank you for that. Very good. Kevin, also nice paper. Both of you guys did really good. I'm going to pick one of your papers to read tonight. So is everybody here? Would you like to go directly to those papers? I have one of them waiting on the desk. And so I'm just going to get that ready for you. And I see... <laughs> You guys, would you like to take a look at this Tim paper? I'm laughing uh, because <laughs> this is Tim, the professional restaurant critic, writing about his school's mm -hmm. pasta. And so, <laughs> all right, everybody. Tim, are you there? Tim, the guy who... Yes, I'm here. Tim, here it is. Go ahead and read. Uh, dear principal, I want you to change the lunch menu, please. Firstly, I want to change cabbage, the salted cabbage... Uh, to change the salted cabbage and fried chayote to any yeah. other delicious vegetables because the cabbage is too sweet and the chayote is hot like the vegetable have not been cooked. Yes. Secondly, I want to change the spaghetti because the sauce is the spaghetti sauce and the noodles are made from flour, not plants from Mediterranean. <laughs> I hope you read this. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. And what did Brendan write? I wrote, oh, very nice and precise, Tim. I am happy that you have research as to why that spaghetti is not authentic. Very sophisticated for a young student. Nice work, Mr. Tim. Because do you guys understand what Tim is saying? In Italy, you can buy green colored spaghetti noodles and green colored pasta because they mix spinach into it. So that's a real Mediterranean vegetable. And you can also buy orange pasta that's made from carrots. So I think this is what Tim is saying. Tim, it would probably be healthier too, you know. Okay, um, so that was Tim to warm us up. And then I'm gonna go, Lewis, I want you to read yours because you did a wonderful job on this, uh, but I have to be careful. I also have John, let me make sure I have the right person here. Uh, I have to go through all my files, you guys. Uh, oh, this is from last night. There's a really cool student called Spooky Bach. Spooky Bach wrote a good paper to his principal. 
Uh, there's one from last night's student, Hanoi. You guys all labeled this. Are you there now? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. Where, who is, oh, it's Ms. Mia. All right, Mia. How are you, Mia? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, Minnam is uh, Saturday night also, you guys. Sorry about this. I have to go through so many Sunday, Sunday basics. Sunday basics, we have a letter from, oh, Daikin. Daiken, Daikin, if you are you ready? I want you to read this. So I'm going to go to share screen. Are you ready, Daiken? Because you did a nice job on this, my friend. Okay. All right, Daiken, here you go. Dear Mr. Brendan, <laughs> I am your student, Daiken. I would like to discuss a few things about our school that I am willing to change. Firstly, the international curriculum and the, our Vietnamese curriculum have some problems. At the start of semester two, our English math class was learning about fractions. On the other hand, our Vietnamese math class learned fractions at the mid part of semester two. That is a big gap between them. This makes the students here in grade four very bored in Vietnamese math classes. Secondly, uh, wait, my nose are my nose uh, is me hot. too. I'm having problems with my breathing. I'm okay. Daikin. Okay. Secondly, our food here has a major problems. Oh my god. Yeah. Ugh. I'm gonna uh, try to talk without breathing with my nose. <laughs> Secondly, luck. our food here has a major problem that can completely change our students' diet. Sometimes we have a we have awesome food like fish, buffet, and so on. But most of the time, we have exactly seven eggs, quail eggs, fish sticks, and a plate of veggies with rice. <laughs> you really need to make our food more nutritious, Mr. Brendan. Mm. That is it for my recommendation for our school. Wow, well, yeah, really concerns good. at my real life school. I believe so. So you don't want that vegetarian lunch. Are the vegetables overcooked, I can't, like they're too mushy? Uh, sometimes they're yeah. just like still raw. Uh, uh, because in Taiwan, the bok choy, I don't know how to say bok choy in Vietnamese. It's that green leaf that looks like spinach, but it's stronger. They, they cooked it too much. So it was really gross to eat with rice. So yeah, I have problems. And the pork tasted like it was maybe kind of... Um, uh, spoiled, not very good, not very fresh pork. It was kind of gross. Daiken, nice work, really good. I'm really happy you did that. Um, <coughs> we're going to save that as a study question. Do you guys take math class in English I and you. Vietnamese? So I want to ask all the private school students that question today. I'm just looking for another one here because these are all labeled Sunday basic. And Can uh, I read my work, sir? Yes, John, I'm trying to find your work because there's something you mentioned in yours that was really quite good. Uh, uh, and also, I just found Kevin's is quite good, too. Uh, well, there it is, John. I found it. You're a lucky guy. I found it quickly. Your little buddy, Tim, is already laughing. <laughs> Tim, you think this is going to be good? <laughs> All right. Here we go. Mr. John, are you ready? And once again, Brendan okay. gets called the principal. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Principal. Actually, this is Mr. Brendan, my principal. Ha ha ha. Very funny, right? <laughs> I am writing this letter to you to offer some suggestions for changes throughout the school because our school feels almost broken down. I would like to make some improvements to make our school a better place. Firstly, you should repair the bathroom. There is water all over the place and they are smelly. I think that you should hire some people to clean up those messes. Also, you should put some air fresheners to remove the stinky smell. Mm. Secondly, you should change the lunch menu because the school lunch is not nutritious enough. Therefore, you should have more food in the main course. We should have spaghetti because everyone buys some up at the school base and the independent vendor spaghetti 
is it healthy? One of our students got food poisoning, and that po boy can't blame you for that, remember? <laughs> and you should have dessert too. You should have trifles, uh, cupcakes, soft drinks, ice cream, and many more desserts. Thirdly, you should allow us to have a set to live music. You should hand out library cards and then allow us to borrow new books to read at home. And you should buy new books because all of the books are, here are either ripped, drawn in, or gone moldy, like a piece of uh, sandwich. And last, you should change the lights because they are still flickering on and off all the time so we cannot learn properly. Mm. I hope that you will take these considerations as a serious, a serious matter. Sincerely, John. Nice work, John. John, I left you a message. Mimi, do you see Teacher. I used this? Real, wait, wait, Tim. Uh, I want to tell Mimi. Uh, Mimi, you know that expression there. Good luck with that, John. <laughs> because here's a boy who wants to serve cupcakes and what? Trifles and soft drinks and ice cream. More, more, more desserts. And good luck with that, John, means I don't think it's going to happen. <laughs> but it's really funny. Uh, oh, no. All right. <laughs> Teacher, you yes. put... Uh, and uh, uh, LC, I read, I read that uh, uh, Mick. <laughs> well, we do that all the time, Mick Principal. You know, if I get angry at my uh, friends, that you, people, I say, uh, you're like being... You like an M and C. <laughs> yes, MC. You can put MC in front of anything, Tim. So we say, like, you're being a Mick <laughs> jerk. You're being a Mick loser. This kind of thing. And <laughs> we, I say that to old friends. Say, oh, he's being a Mick loser. He's being a Mick jerk. And some stronger language that I won't use, Tim. All right. Nice work. One more, you guys. And then we have to start for tonight. Uh, let's see. We did a wonderful job there. I want to get to Lewis because, Lewis, I thought yours was very sophisticated. It has a, a, a very nice tone to it. And so I graded this one just uh, some time. Let me see. I'm going to have to quickly go through these. Uh, that's no, no, no. We don't want that one. That's from a student last night who copied his assignment from AI. Oh, no. Um, let's see, do we have? Yes, we have Lewis. Beautiful. Lewis, I got it quickly. And so, Lewis, would you feel like reading tonight? Can you do it? Yeah, this is a very sophisticated uh, analysis of a problem. And the guy's name is Harry, which I think is interesting, Lewis. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Mr. Harry, I have a little problem with our school infrastructure structure that needs to be improved. I hope mm -hmm. you will accept my suggestion in your role of principal. So now I will apprise you of that problem. I found that our computer screen and keyboard in the intelligent technology room are absolutely broken. We cannot study or do anything with these computers. Firstly, all of the screen is in the intelligent class are very old now. I guess they're screen are from the last decade. If you don't change the screen, all of the students and I will have to continue studying in bad conditions. Secondly, all of the keyboards are very dirty. So if our school do not have enough money after we change our computer screen and we need to set up now, I just hope the keys balls are cleared up when we come back to school after this letter. Thirdly, if you change this broken screen and keys bone and improve our intelligent room, many students who study in February now will choose our school to study. Mm. Everything in our school is very good now, but if but it could be better if only you could improve this problem that I have communicated to you before. Please text back to me your decision as soon as you can. Thanks for all your reading and answering. Sincerely. Lewis, stylish signature. Lewis, I like it because when you're writing at your um, secondary level, it's good if you put um, what's called a little bit of flattery where you say, dear principal, you're doing some very good things. Our school is good but let's make it stronger. 
that's always a really good way to convince somebody to make a change. So that's why I say it's a mature letter that you've written, Lewis. You know how to say there are many good things at our school, but there's this one thing that really needs improving, and that's the computer. And so I found in a couple of these things, you guys said you have some really old computers that aren't very good. <clears throat> and um, so I think that's a problem in a lot of your schools. The schools want to appear that they're high tech, but they're not really offering really good computer uh, classrooms. All right. Hey, Bone, I promised you could read yours. And can you read it? There are almost no mistakes. But this also reminded me of John's letter asking for better desserts. And here we'll read Bone's suggestion. Here you go, Bone. Dear Principal Tang, I'm writing to you to offer you some changes to our school. Firstly, there are too many students in the school and that creates trouble with classrooms and canteen. Team. I suggest you that you should make the school year tuition higher so there's a chance a smaller number of students will enroll. Secondly, I want to have more computer time so we can learn and participate more. We can also have gaming and surfing internet time when we finish. And the last thing I want to say is please put more fast food in our lunches because we like it although it's not healthy. Sometimes we can only see vegetables in some of our lunches. Thank you for your help and I wish you can act on what you I commented. Yeah, I said good uh, paragraph, Bone, but Bone, more fast food. Is that fast food outside the school gate from the private vendors or is that from a restaurant like McDonald's? Is that what you mean, Bone? By fast food, hamburgers, chicken nuggets, fish. Um, where would you get that fast food, Bone? Uh, I think we, we, like from like I think we, we use our money to buy some from um like the school can give us chance to go there and buy some. Oh uh, okay, yeah. My um a, a teacher I know from New Zealand used to buy his students pizzas for their Christmas parties. I forgot it was good fast food. <coughs> okay, you guys. Sorry, I'm having a coughing time. We have to start our main lesson. So thank you very much, Bone. Thank you much, Lewis, Tim. Thank you very much, Mr. John. You guys did a great job. Um, good samples, good writing samples from all of you. I was very happy with that. So today, today's lesson, we're going to compare things. And I'm going to get my lesson ready for now, the comparing things. And one moment, please. It's on my desktop. One moment. Do you know how to say one moment in Japanese? It's chotomate. Kudasai. One moment, please. Hey, what happened to my, <laughs> where, where's my lesson for tonight, you guys? Oh, here it is. I know why. Um, it's on the page I don't want it to be on. All right. No, no, no. We did that one already. I'm sorry about this, you guys. Where is my lesson for tonight? I was just looking at it on my desktop. There it is. Beautiful. Okay. All right. So, um, of course, I'll need some of you to read, and you guys enjoy reading. Now, this is really bad. I didn't call on any young lady, so I'm going to change that situation and call on um, one of our uh, female students to read. So here we go, and let's see what we got. Uh, Mia, are you there? Mia, Mia, gee, it's good to see you. Mia the fairy, can you read comparing two things? Yes. Okay. Comparing things. Tonight, we study comparative hmm. forms in our writing. First, do you know... Venn? Venn diagram? Yeah. Here's a simple of a Venn diagram. All right, A and B style. Do you know this, Mia? Did you study in school? No, because I am in fourth grade. Uh, okay. Let me ask Kevin. Hey, Kevin, you're there. Kevin in Ho Chi Minh City. Yes, teacher. Kevin, have you studied Venn diagrams? Yes. 
Yeah. When do you study those in Vietnam? Is it in primary school, grade five or six? Uh, grade five in primary school. Yeah, we started them in seventh grade because America's math is a little bit slow. And so do you see the A is the green circle and blue is the B circle. And then the yeah. A and the B, this upside down U means this is where they come together or intersect. And so that shares the information. So let's see, Kevin, would you like to read for us? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> uh, let's put two fruits into the A and B. And in the A and B areas, we put bana uh, bananas into the A circle and lemon into a B circle. In A, all things about bananas only, and in B, gold things that are about B only. Can you say A things for bananas and B things for lemons? And in the A and B area, what things do bananas and lemons say? You guys, I'm going to take away all these answers because these were from last night, and I don't want you to see them. Ooh, going to take that away to you guys. So you have to do this by yourself. And let me take away that line because it was making problems last night. Okay, let's go to somebody. Let's go. Hey, Mr. Roy, are you there? Uh, Roy disappeared. Hello, Roy. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Hey, Roy, yeah, can you tell me three things about bananas. Mm. Uh, yellow. Yellow, good. Mm, uh... They have ultimate in the. They have what, Roy? Wait, three things. Okay. Are they hard or soft? Uh, soft. Okay, we'll say soft. All right. Mm, and long. And long, good. Soft and long. All right. Let's go to uh, Cherry. Are you there? Yes. <clears throat> Cherry, what can you tell us about lemons? Um, it has six. Uh -huh. I'm going to put lemons down here because it's kind of crazy. Lemons are, one more time, lemons are? Sour. Sour, yeah. yeah. What, what color? Yellow. Yellow, good. Uh, sweet or sour? Yeah. Oh, are they sweet or sour lemons? It's sour. Yeah, and then, so bananas are sweet, right? Okay, sweet. Very easy exercise, but it's getting a little more challenging. Mimi, can you help us about the banana and the lemon? I know it's very easy, but we have to get ready for comparing things. Um, Mimi, can you tell me some more things about bananas? Um, they are associated with like minions. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Mimi, that's really funny. Um, how about seeds? Do they have seeds? Yeah, they do. Like in the center, right? Yeah, they do. Yeah. Um, kind of weird uh difficult to see seeds right that's a good point mm -hmm. nice how about lemons of course right um tough seeds i think because when you bite the lemon seed you spit it out you know it's it's kind of gross but <laughs> i think tough seeds in the center they now, are a sphere what they lemons are a sphere a sphere what's that a sphere. Like, oh, a sphere. I'm sorry. A sphere. sphere. Yes, Tim, we know it's a sphere. How about the shape of a banana? How can you say it? I'm just laughing at Tim. Uh, uh, a sphere. A, grab it. A, grab it <laughs> a tube. It's like a tube, right? Okay, you uh, got a, a crescent moon. <laughs> a crescent moon. Very poetic, Mr. Tim. All right. Can anyone else tell us something, the difference between bananas and lemons? It's an easy warm up, you guys. I tried to make oh. this as easy as I can. Oh, how about vitamins and minerals? Oh. Can you compare vitamins and minerals? 
What do you think has more vitamin C, banana or a lemon? Mm. What do you think, Lewis? Mm. I'm almost wondering, Lewis, did you take a nutrition class yet in secondary? <laughs> what can else? Can you tell me again? Okay, so what has more vitamin C, a lemon or a banana? Oh, wait a minute. Hey. I will research. Take researches. All right, see if you can, if you want to run a little research on that, Tim. Yeah. It's a good idea. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Bone, what do you think? Which has more vitamin C, lemons or bananas? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think... Uh, which has more vitamin C? Yeah. Uh, I think lemon or banana. Yeah, you're right. Nate, can you I also think, say that? Yeah, I think lemon. All right. And you also say vitamin C. That's the British style. That's really cute, Bone. Americans say vitamin, and you said vitamin, which maybe you have British teachers, Bone? From England? Uh, yeah, I have one from Scotland. Yeah, because you said vitamin. It's a cute way to say vitamin in American style. So wonderful. Hey, um, Nakin, you're researching. Can you answer the question? Mm, from what I can guess, yeah. I think lemon has more vitamin C. Yeah, that's why it's so sour and it's actually yes! good for your health. Yes! But too many lemons can damage your teeth. All right. Do you guys know... That's oh, a teacher, uh, lemon yes, has, has more uh, more vitamins than uh, than bananas. Nice. Now, do you guys know? Bananas have three vitamins. Uh, all right. Do you, know, right. do you guys know? Do you guys know? All right. Okay. Do you guys know potassium? It's a mineral. Which has more potassium? Vitamins, or uh, lemons, or bananas? I'm going to ask one of the older students who already studied chemistry and stuff like that. Jasmine, are you there? Or Jasmine? Oh, no, Jasmine, what happened? Red Army, are you there? I'm there, right there. Hey, Red Army, do you know which has more potassium, <laughs> that mineral potassium? Potassium? Come yeah. on, I'm not. Oh, I thought you studied um, chemistry already. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, not of chemist, you must ask Walter White. All right, I'm sorry, Red Army. I'm uh, not Walter White. You're not. You're not a chemist. Hey, is teacher's assistant Tony there? Sure, Hello. teacher. Tony, you know that word potassium, that chemical. Yes, uh, stand for P. Yeah, it's really good for it your body. Banana, uh, banana. Yeah, banana. You got it. So bananas have a lot of potassium, you guys. So lemons have vitamin C. Bananas have potassium. Um, Tony, potassium is really good if you're doing sports in hot weather, right? Yeah, sure, teacher. Because I heard tennis players eat two bananas before a tennis match for the Olympics. So, okay. Hey, Tim, are you there? Yes. Tim, I want you to read the bananas and lemons. This is the paragraph we made from all of our information. Bananas are and lemons are both fruits, but bananas leaf, leaf are longer than lemons. Mm. Lemons are more sour than bananas. Bananas do not have seeds, but lemons do. White lemons are used to prepare other foods. Bananas can be eaten by all by themselves. We can make lemonade with lemons, but I don't think we can make banana aid. <laughs> ah, <a> joke. <laughs> but we can eat bananas with ice cream. Oh, very milkshakes. good. Yeah, milkshakes too. Yeah, okay. So um, the seeds, by the way, Mimi, this is what they did last night. And the students said, the bananas do not have seeds. So Mimi, I just used what the students told me last night and I left it there. But now that you mention it, Mimi, I can see that bananas do kind of have really small, soft seeds at the center. Okay, you guys, that was the warm-up, bananas and lemons. And you, and you might say, that's kind of weird. That's kind of easy. But now I want to go, let's see, who can we uh, call on? John, are you still there? Uh, John 11. 
<clears throat> then I'll go to John 12 next. So John 11. Okay. Can you read this, please? Okay. Hmm. Let's compare two famous buildings in Vietnam. Landmark 81 in Waterloo City is 461.5 meters tall. The Texco, also in Waterloo City, is 262.5 meters tall. Kingdom Hanoi Landmark Tower is 350 meters tall. Okay. So, um, John, which building would you say is tall, just tall? Uh, I think Landmark 81 in Hotelie City is the highest. Okay, so highest or tallest, okay. And then we could say Bitexo is just tall, but uh, Kiang Nam, Hanoi Landmark Tower, is taller than Bitexo, right? So we're comparing those. Um, Landmark 81 tallest, Bitexo is just tall, and then King Nam Hanoi <coughs> is taller than Bitexo. Okay, let's go to John 12. Hey, John 12, um, can you, yeah. let's see, can you read this one? But this one, we kind of use different words here, but if you can read the blue. <coughs> and I will read the blue. Yeah, is that okay? Landmark 81 in Ho Chi Minh City is the tallest building in Vietnam. That is Canada, Landmark Tower, which is called Chesso. Mm. Of the three buildings, which is a street building, can you dis describe the relationship using tall, taller, and tallest? Please try. Next. Who introduced more as in something is dangerous, but this over thing is more dangerous. However, the thing is the most dangerous. Notice how I use words such as but and however. Introduce, introduce the things below. Compare. You should do this. You should write. All right. I'm going to ask Carrie with her new avatar. Carrie, are you there with the new cool avatar? Uh, yeah. like hey, Carrie, would you like to read the animals for us? Mm, here's an example. Mm -hmm. A fox can sometimes be dangerous. It eats former kitchens. Mm. A weasel bear is more dangerous than fox. It can sometimes attack people. Mm. Bigger tiger is the most dangerous in India. Each year, they kill hundreds of people. Very good, Carrie. So, Carrie, would you like to read a little bit more? <clears throat> okay. Now it's your time to try in a break room. Please describe what you think is dangerous, more dangerous, and most dangerous for animal or type of Vertical roofers, airplanes, motorcycles, and so on. Can you describe to your teacher why this season should go for 20 minutes? When we come back, we will try a new secret for study. Mm. That, what is the most dangerous one for the heat in Vietnam? May um, 33, yeah, 16 years, mm. Hanoi, mm. 16 <clears throat> yeah. 13 years, June is the hottest that 38 degrees. Yeah, so Carrie, the students on Saturday night gave me this information, but we didn't really finish this. So I'll leave you guys what is the most dangerous month for heat in Vietnam? What is the most ve uh, dangerous vehicle, a bus, an airplane, or a motorcycle? What is the most dangerous animal? And some students said, what is the most dangerous food? So teacher Duin and teacher Tony will do um, two breakout rooms for you. 
and I'll stay in the main room. And so our question is, what is the most dangerous vehicle for transportation, a car, a bus, a motorcycle, an airplane, a rocket ship? <laughs> uh, what is the most dangerous food? Some student told me about eating poisonous jellyfish. And what is the most dangerous animal? Please take as much time as you want, 15 or 20 minutes, so each of the students can really enjoy discussing. So remember, <clears throat> the goal is comparing things. So this is dangerous. This is more dangerous. This is the most dangerous, right? Okay, so we're ready for those breakout rooms. I hope you guys are excited because this should be an interesting topic for you guys. And I'll take about five students into uh, the, um, the main room. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Teacher, can I join the, can I stay in the main room? Yeah, of course you can, Miss uh, Mia. I'll make sure you go in the main room. And you can tell me about dangerous things, Miss Mia. Uh, hey, teacher. Hey, Bone. Do you want to can stay I in the main room? the main, yeah, exactly. Right. You guys will have a good chat. How about John can and I Carrie? Stay in the main room, teacher? Yeah, Carrie and Bone and John and Mia, you guys can, we'll have about four people. You guys love to talk, and that's Totally fine with me. I think that's really great. You love to talk. So let me just line you guys up. I think you're just staying there anyway. Hey, Jimmy's here too. I'm not sure. And Jasmine. Okay, Jasmine and Jimmy and Bone and Carrie. This is a good discussion group and John too. Sometimes you guys disappear. So if you disappear, I'll try to find you back in the rooms. So let's start with Mr. Bone. Bone, what do you think is a, the most dangerous transportation, like a bus, a motorcycle, a car? Uh, so the most dangerous vehicle, I think, is the power two wheelers. Oh. Because like, yeah, because like, if you see like every day in the newspaper, they said about they said about some two wheeler accidents, hmm. and like they then like we can have accidentally crashes because. Like they're small and many cars, big cars can cannot see them easily, especially in especially in some of the main roads. Hey, um, Bon, are they um two wheelers? Are they car? Are they like motorcycles for old people or for young people? Uh, the motorcycles for all the people. Yeah, that's really sad that an old person would you know be in a dangerous thing like a two wheeler. Wow, wow. Hey, Mia, what do you think is a dangerous vehicle? Uh, Bone picked the two-wheelers. I think the dangerous is the airplane. Yeah, okay. And why do you think so? Because sometimes the airplane get error and they might crash onto the land, the road. Hmm. Or the ocean that took many people in there. This is true. The Boeing 737 has had two crashes and like five problems. It was designed in my hometown, Chicago. But yeah, it's proving to be a really dangerous airplane, Mia. So that's really good. Many Hello, people. Mr. Chuck. Yeah, that's yeah, that's it's sad because a lot of people die. I think it would lack the one wheeler. What's the one wheeler, Jimmy? Like the two-wheeler, but it has one wheel. Oh, my gosh. I saw it, it before. And where was the person riding it? In the street or around a park? I, I tried riding it, and I got fall. Yeah. So, yeah, that's just one wheel, but it has a motor in it. That sounds really weird. Mm. Hey, John, what do you want to say? I think that the most dangerous vehicle is a car that travels at 80 meters per hour. Oh, it's a car that travels what? It's a car that travels infinite meter, meters per hour. Oh, so it's even faster than the speed of light. So you could take this car. Hey, wait a minute, John. I think that's called a laser car. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Carrie, what do you think is a dangerous uh, thing to travel? 
Huh? We have airplane and motorcycle, two wheel and I, one wheel. Mm. I think. Mm. I think. This. I think it's mm. a bike because if we don't see the road, we will. Yeah, crash. Die. Yeah, you crush the car. Hey, um, Carrie, in Vietnam, do school students have to wear helmets to ride their bikes to school? Yes. Yeah. Ah, okay. Do you like your helmet? Yes, I really okay. like my helmet. In Taiwan and Japan, they don't wear helmets, and you know, it's it's too, like you said, Carrie, it's too dangerous. Hey, Mia, Mia, what do you want to say? Mia has her hand up. We're talking about dangerous cars now, Mia. Mia wants to talk about her dangerous cat. <laughs> no. Is that cat dangerous, Mia? It's pretty cute, but it's shy. <laughs> Three weeks already. It didn't eat. Does that cat eat some strange things? No. Okay, because some cats catch a mouse or a bird and they bring it into your house. Our cat caught three birds in one night. And she kept dropping them into our garden. It was pretty terrible. My cat caught like four mice. Yeah. That dropped into on the roof. Oh man! So she just dropped them. Were they small or big size mice? Big size. Oh my gosh! Well, then that's good. You have that cat, Mia. I'm happy you have But that cat. But because my house is full of mice. Ah, uh, okay. So that's I see why your mom and dad said a cat is a good idea. That's yeah, cool. but my cat didn't eat it all day. All right. Hey, Lewis. I didn't know you were in my room. Good to see you, um, Lewis. We're talking about transportation. Let's change to food that's dangerous. Can you think of any dangerous food? Yeah, as as the um. Cheap food that have uh, something bad in it, and when you eat it, maybe you have something. Um, uh, maybe you have uh, like uh something with your stomach. Hmm. Do you know um that's called uh tainted seafood? I'll put it in chat. Tainted seafood is pretty dangerous. Yeah. Um. It just you get sick for so many days with tainted seafood. It's um. It's Tomain poisoning is what it's called. And then that's, I think, Tomain. I'm not spelling it right. Tomain. Tomain or Tomain? Tomain poisoning? To, no, this uh, Tomain. Ah, Tomain poisoning. It's a type of poisoning from bad food. Tomain seafood? Seafood, yes. Yeah. So you have to be careful with seafood, Mia. There's Tomain poisoning in seafood. It can be pretty bad. And there's the type worms. Oh, now, John, what is that? The wor Who said worms? Who, who was that? Me. Jimmy, what wor what food has worms? Uh, like salmon has salmon. tape worms. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Salmon does have so worms. Can I say this? Yeah, go ahead. Some people said that some jellyfish, we can eat it. Ah. Some didn't know it. And yes. absolutely eat it down. See, I heard about that from last night's students that in Vietnam, people enjoy jellyfish. But if you don't know your jellyfish, you just catch it by your... <clears throat> it can be really poisonous. Wow, wow, that's really good. <clears throat> How about yeah, snakes? Do you eat snakes in Vietnam? No, I never, I never, I never, I but never. Do, but do, we stare snakes. But do some people eat snakes? Louis, do some people eat snakes? Yeah, yeah. In, my, in my country town. Yeah, and do they put the snakes? I'm not a fan of snakes. <laughs> but um, no, it's in the country in the country towns they eat the snake. Do they? How do they serve it? Like a fried snake, or drink the blood of the snake, or? <clears throat> I think drink 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 the blood. I, I yeah. know. and maybe I don't know because I I don't saw them. I just. Them that they is like in my country town. Yeah, um, I watched a television show where a famous chef from New York loved Vietnam food, 
and he went to Wei City, and he also went to the Mekong Delta, and they killed a cobra, a really poisonous snake, and they mixed the blood with alcohol, and then he was drinking alcohol snake cocktails, blood cocktails. And, that, uh, that was very poisonous. He very poisonous, but the old people said it's really good in the summer if it's too hot. The snake's blood and the alcohol makes your body feel cooler, is what they said. So I don't know, Mia. That's a good point. All right. So we did food. Can we do one more food? Bone, can you think of any poisonous bad food? <clears throat> we have snakes and jellyfish and seafood. <clears throat> I think a bear. What, Mia? I think a bear. Tomatoes? A bear. Oh, a bear, eating bear, okay. Um, in Korea, they eat dogs. And the Korean government said, we have to stop doing this. Um, Carrie, very nice. I like to say about dogs. <clears throat> Carrie got dogs. fugu. Nice work, Carrie. Do you guys know fugu? I don't know fugu. Fugu no. is close to my house. It's a, it's a no. Japanese balloon fish. And you have to have a professional license to cut it. And you eat it like sushi, and it's really delicious. Oh, my God. That is very poison. I'm going to get a picture of fugu for you guys when we come back to the main room. Carrie, have I you tried it's fugu? it's very poison. It's very poisonous. Carrie, have you tried fugu? No. Okay, yeah. To, do, to cut fugu into small pieces that are really delicious, you have to have a professional license. Some people in Japan try to do it themselves, and each year... One or two people die from eating fugu fish. I ate it two times. It's really delicious. I really like it. Hey, John. Call to Marzu. Call to who? Call to Marzu. Manju, Moju, what? <laughs> what and the saying? cat. Oh, the cat. It's your cat? No. All right. I need the food. Eat the cat as food? Um, no. I mean what? the dangerous food. Is what? <clears throat> and a cat. For a cat? Cats shouldn't eat squid. Squid is bad for a cat. Oh. Yeah. That's really bad. So don't give your cat squid. S-Q-U-I-D. Squid. Uh, fugu. Yeah. yeah, nice work, Carrie. Fugu is puffer fish. I'll show a picture of the puffer fish in just a moment. Hey, John. scared about John has a question. Let's ask John. Yeah. John, dangerous food. What do you think? Um, 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 let me think. Um, electronic. <laughs> uh, Is this some science what, fiction what? thing? Yeah. No, it's not fiction. All right. Um, hey, John 12 joined us. John 12 from Dong Nai. It's, what do you think is... I think it's an electronized... Uh, <laughs> an an electronized electric eel. Uh, all right. Hey, John 12, what do you think is a dangerous food? I think the dangerous food is uh, the food outside the school. Ah, yeah. That showed up in, like, three people mentioned that in their reports about changing mm -hmm. something. Um, it, because the food is bad food. I want to join, please. Hey, Mr. Tim. <laughs> so you also, Tim, you say there is food outside the school gate by private uh, sellers and the quality is not so good? Uh, All right. Uh, we, can, uh, uh, we can ban some. Yeah, you're going to ban it? All yeah, right. Oh. You guys, I was looking for the puffer fish for the fugu, and I found this. Yes, picture. yes, I found this picture. Ah, I know a way to kill it. Uh, oh, yeah. Use something. <laughs> use first. Use something. Use some something sharp and, okay. uh, and yes. use this to the puffer fish, and it okay. will uh, 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 make the water uh, uh, goes out, and it will die. <laughs> Good idea, Tim. Hey, you guys, wait a minute. I was looking for the puffer fish, and then we found um, this picture of, hey, why is it doing uh, that? Yeah, this is a Vietnam school, you guys, but 
they they had these pictures. I thought this was a really funny picture of these kids, but I can't get this to work so well. So wait a minute. This is all going crazy. Uh, where's the puffer fish? I, that's what I'm trying to find. And I've got this picture of these kids at a Vietnam school because I wanted to see what your uniforms are like. Oh, there they are. Doesn't he, don't these kids look funny, you guys? I like this guy here. I, I don't have that uniform. <laughs> it's a nice uniform. Look at it. It has this beautiful embroidery. But that's not what we want, you guys. We want Fugu, the puffer fish, because Carrie said this is one of the most dangerous fishes. It's called Fugu. And it's it's also called puffer fish. And this is really poisonous. They serve this Teacher. in Japan. Tim! Uh, who, someone <laughs> is eat the puffer fish. Yeah. Do they eat it in Vietnam? No. It, the Mr. Beast in the United States eat it. No, no, Japan, they eat this. This is it, the puffer fish in Japan. This is really delicious, you guys, with fresh lime and sauce. This is really good. So I want to ask you guys, has anyone eaten uh, fugu, puffer fish, before? Peter, can I see that? Yes, poisonous. All right, wait, we have Mia talking at the same time as Tim, our Peter. two favorite doctors. Yes, Mia. Can I see the picture of the most dangerous puffer fish? Yeah, I'll, I'll just show you again. It's just, um, here, one moment, please. We'll go back and let me show you. Because you, um, some of you were asking questions about this puffer fish. So I'm going to try my best to show you. Mr. Puffer, there he is. That's a dangerous puffer fish. Doesn't he look evil, you guys? <laughs> so they catch that near my house in Japan, and it's pretty dangerous. Okay, you guys, we have to Yes. Who is that? Mm -hmm. Have you ever eaten that fish? Yeah, I have. I have, John. With my father-in-law, it's expensive. And he uh, bought me lunch one time, and we had puffer fish on New Year's Day, January fish, uh, January 1st. And, John, it was really delicious. It's really good. I wasn't nervous because if you sell puffer fish or fugu in a restaurant, it has to be made by someone with a high-level training and license from the Japanese government so that you know that it is safe to eat it. John, would you try they it? Take, they take like sashimi. It's sashimi. Very good, John. It's cut real like fresh raw sashimi. But when you mix it with lemon sauce, it's so good. It's such a really good fish. Now I see why it's so expensive. It's just wonderful fish. I really, it's my favorite sashimi actually is fugu. <laughs> but you guys probably think I'm crazy for eating the poisonous fish, right? But I think it's safe. All right, we need a reader, you guys. We need somebody to read for us. Um, let's see. Hey, Red Army, are you there? Yeah, I'm um, right there. Okay, Red Army, can you read part two? Uh, come on, food. I, um, food. I like foods. I am the master chips of my family. Ah, I thought you were a really good chef. And so this food's going to make you hungry, I think. Uh, okay, but I have done my dinner. Uh, now you make spaghetti, right? Yeah, I make I make cream yeah. spaghetti. It's very yeah. good. I think so. I'm happy to hear that. So in this picture, we have just tomato sauce, Mister Red. <laughs> okay. So, here we go. <clears throat> okay, let me read part two. You need a notebook and pencil, or you can create an a writing document on your computer's screen. This is our class project. We will try as much as we can in class, and we will finish the rest of our homework for the last 30 minutes of class. I want to uh, I want you to write the ideas for this set comparison. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Delicious, more delicious, and most delicious example. Spaghetti is a delicious food, but hamburgers is more delicious than spaghetti. And finally, Chicago style pizza is the most delicious food in the whole wide world. Okay, that is great, but why is one thing more delicious than the other. And if you write a paragraph on this set comparison, then remember you need an introductory scene paragraph. I really love to eat Italian food. And I think tomato sauce of spaghetti with a little bit, very delicious. I like to eat it 
once a week. However, the good old-fashioned uh, American hamburger, steak, high with cheese, bacon, tomatoes, and onions are more delicious than spaghetti. Lastly, dip a dip dish, Chicago's style pizza is the most delicious one in the whole world. This big pizza pack with the cheese and tomato is a great mix of Italian and American food tradition. I can easily recommend all three types of food, but Chicago pizza is the king of food, in my estimation. Nice. Now, okay. <laughs> now, it's your turn, everybody. Let's work on comparisons. I said 30 minutes, but let's just do 20 minutes. Typing with the computer is okay, or writing things out with a notebook is okay. Compare three of your favorite foods. Tell us what is delicious, what is more delicious, and what's the most delicious, okay? You don't have to make the, you don't have to make the full paragraph because this takes time to write. What we want is 10 to 15 minutes of in-class writing because this is a writing class, right? So you can write, blah, blah is delicious, blah, 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 blah is more delicious, and blah, 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 blah is the most delicious, okay? Teacher, can I say? Yeah, go ahead, you try. Our favorite food. Mm. Three our favorite food. Yes. Oh, I see. Okay, so Mia, use a pencil or type it so you guys can do a little presentation at the end of class. All right? So take five or ten minutes, you guys. Yeah, you can work it's quietly. So fun. All right, thanks, Tim. If you have a pencil, you can use a pencil. Write it with a pencil. Right? Delicious. More delicious. Most delicious. Now, if you want, you can write it in chat for everybody to see. I don't mind. For example, Kerry wrote seven dishes with puffer fish. <laughs> nice, Kerry. <laughs> Thank you, Kerry. Teacher, can I type it in the chat? Yeah, you can write it in chat. That's what I did too. Here's Niku Jaga. Okay, and then I'm gonna put another one. Um. Oh.
So then the DVD fight with skin. What is it? <laughs> I'm just trying to find this. Oh, there it is. I'm trying to find this one dish, you guys. It's hard. Uh, let's see. Where's a good picture? You guys might think it's gross, but I love this. They have this in Korea and Japan. I'm going to put this in the uh, chat. <clears throat> Mia, good work. Uh, fish, delicious. Mia says noodles are more delicious than fish, and rice is the most delicious. That's very funny, Mia. I love rice. Love. Is it Vietnam rice, Thai rice, Indian rice? What's your favorite? Vietnam rice, because okay. my family always eats rice, and rice <laughs> is my favorite. Yeah, my every, every country in Asia loves their own rice first. Okay. Um, do you see my picture? That's Ume Buta is fried pig skin. So they take the skin from the pig, and they fry it. And that's most delicious. And, Japan. and everyone, teacher? Um, not everyone. Some people like it. Some people don't. No, yeah. and the cat? Everyone, right, teacher? Uh, some people don't eat it because they don't want to eat pork. No, I said this. Uh, oh. You sent the picture in the chat. Yeah. Everyone? Yeah. Can you see it? Every oh, I sorry. It yeah. sent it to. I, I sent it to Red Army. Hey, Red Army. I hope you like that picture. <laughs> yeah. I'm ready. <laughs> Because you do cooking, Red Army, so I guess that's okay for you. That's called Ume Buta. I'm sorry. Good. Thanks, Mia, for telling me that. All right, you guys, that's Ume Buta. Ume is plums. They're salty, sour Japanese plums. I can't see the okay. well, And the fried pig skin tastes like bacon. And then there's... Uh, okay, I love that. I love that. I think you would like it, Mia. And, um, and if you put it on just white rice, it's really good with your chopsticks. White rice, fried pork, and plum sauce. That's my most delicious thing in Japan. It was very yummy. Yeah, but I can't eat it like every week. I can eat it maybe once a month because it would make me fat if I ate it every week. It's easy. I, I sometimes eat like fish stew, fried mm -hmm. fish, and other kinds of fish that my family used to cook okay so your family but are good not cooks, puffer fish <laughs> but not puffer fish <laughs> very funny mia uh now here comes the magic picture are you guys ready for it you guys yeah. are gonna love this i'm gonna do share screen are you ready for it yeah, yeah. oh what's this it's the world of foe everybody loves foe i love foe <laughs> of course it's I love it. so bone what's your favorite foe do you see these pictures Oh yes, it's true. I like tell. most is the like the beef pho. The beef pho is that one here? Well, yeah, the well done beef pho. Oh my gosh, that yeah. does look really delicious. That's making me hungry, Bone. <laughs> I would oh, love that it. is my favorite too. That is my okay, favorite so, pho. so I think we could choose that as most delicious for a lot of students, right? Um, Bone, do you eat that with your family, or do you buy it out uh, in a restaurant? Uh, like, I usually eat it with my family. Uh, okay. Hey, Bone, what do you think of this? It's beef, but it has these spicy green peppers called uh, jalapenos in Mexico and America. In Asia, they're just called spicy green peppers and limes and cilantro and mint. This looks so good. And uh, these are called flat noodles. In Taiwan, they call this beef noodles, but it's not so spicy. Oh, I love flat noodles. Right. Like it. Yeah. Remember when I said I ate instant noodles? Yeah. That was flat noodle. Oh, okay, flat noodles. Uh, I think flat noodles are better than the small Japanese yeah, style yeah, ramen. Noodles. And then look, yeah, there the flat noodles are just oh, underrated. <laughs> Very good. But you know, in Taiwan, that's the number one noodle daiken. If you go to Taipei, if, everyone. Whenever I eat it, my friend says I'm my my like my bestie said I'm racist. Oh, <laughs> look at this. This is just making me so hungry, you guys. Who would put pho? How do you pronounce it in Vietnam? You say pho? Pho. 
Fall. Yeah, fall? see, Americans say faux. We say fall. Fall. Okay, you guys say fall. fall. So who wants to put fall as the most delicious food? You can choose that if you want. Uh, I want to choose, but I have so many foods I uh, didn't <laughs> choose that. All right, Tim, you're going to go first with our class here to help us. What do you think is a delicious food? Uh, I have many, many flavored foods, but pizza, hamburger, and caramel chocolate are my favorites. The yes. pizza has beets and corn. The pizza <laughs> is delicious. The uh, caramel chocolate uh, have caramel and chocolate. It's yeah. more delicious than the pizza. <laughs> and the last is the hamburger. The yes. hamburger has chicken and uh, sauce. Yes. It's most favorite food a hamburger with what was it tim is it chicken or hamburger chicken <laughs> chicken is it fried chicken uh yes yeah and what restaurant is it kfc yeah, yeah. <laughs> tim i ate kfc for lunch in taiwan it was too oily i didn't like the taiwan kfc i had a chicken spicy sandwich Hey, who? Me. <laughs> Mia, what are you going to say about Tim's list? <laughs> I want to say I want to show you this. All right, show me it. This is my quilling picture. It's your what? My will, my quilling picture. Quilling picture? What's that? Yeah. Well, it's show me a again. picture that you, you quill it like this. Oh, okay, you quill it. Is that something you do in Vietnam? Like you design dresses and stuff using quilling? Uh-huh. By these tools. Oh my God, those are dangerous. Okay. <laughs> All right, listen, I've been talking to Tim and Mia so much. Let's Teacher. go to Mia. Yes, Tim. I'm watching, I am, I'm watching the YouTube and I watch the live, live stream. Live stream is good, but don't add videos to your live stream, Tim. You'll, you'll crash the whole internet. And there will be poor children in Africa who will have no internet. And they'll say, who did this? And the African people are saying, Tim in Hanoi did this. And then you're going to be in trouble with the United Nations or something. All right. So let's go to Mimi. Uh, uh, Mimi. I, I've been Mimi asking you. Funny. All, right. Shh, you. Shh, all right. All right. Mimi, can I ask you, what do you think is a delicious food? <laughs> um. So my like top three favorite food is sushi, bagels, and pizza. Oh, and bagels <laughs> yeah so um with pizza i really like pizza and i like like a good meat lovers pizza i don't on my pizza i don't like pineapples on it because like i don't why would you want fruit on your pizza that's just my uh, personal preference but pineapple yeah. on pizza is the best combination it's better okay, so, than my whole life so you it's, guys like I have a friend from Italy and we got into a big fight because he wanted to put pineapple and like Mimi, I said, fruit on a pizza. I don't want to do that. Right. And he's an Italian guy. And he said, no, this is, he's like Daikin. He said, this is the best thing ever. Right. Uh, so it took me many years. Uh, it's, uh, it's banned, banned Italy. Italy. It's, it's, it's banned yeah. in Italy. Oh my God, Tim, that's okay. funny. All right. Listen, we have to talk to John 12. I think this talk of food is making you guys hungry and crazy. John 12, you have a question. So please jump in. Uh, I like to talk about, I think the most delicious food is sushi. Is what? Sushi. Oh, sushi. Okay. What are your favorite pieces of sushi? Mm, just because I can uh, have many types of sushi. Like okay. uh, seafood, shrimp, uh, or uh, fish. Uh, okay, do you see it there, John? Um, we have, this is red belly tuna. This is called maguro in Japanese. We have the salmon. Have you eaten mushubi? No, what's that one? Wasabi? You mean wasabi? No, mushubi. The other style mm, sushi. Yeah, mushubi. What is mushubi? Mushubi. That's daikin, right? Oh, Japanese eel. Oh, eel. Okay, eel sushi. Let's see what that looks like, you guys. Eel sushi. 
Japanese eel. Oh, unagi. We call that unagi, you guys. But that's cooked. We want... Uh, hey, how come it's not putting up my pictures? So you guys can have it barbecued, but you can also have it like this. I ate that once. Did you it's like really it? It's really delicious. Wonderful. Who is that? Is that Daikin? Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy, where did you eat this eel? <laughs> In Hanoi. Okay. Was it good sushi? Yes. They serve really good uh, eel. Yeah. Yeah. Um, in oh, Florida, we were... Yeah. It, hey, Tim. It was, it was eel. Why, why did you try it? Uh, why did I try it? Oh, because they always put it in the lunch boxes, you guys. This is always comes in Japan. And my wife always says, do you want me to eat this? Or do you want, you know, do you want it? I always give my eel sushi to her because I eat the shrimp sushi, you guys. And so I eat shrimp sushi as my favorite is really tender shrimp sushi. And so the shrimp sushi is this. Many different kinds, but this is the basic one. I like this one best. Just simple sushi. I would say that's the best. John in Hanoi, please, what would you like to say? <clears throat> is John there? Mr. John in Hanoi. Hey, John, go ahead. John, there's no sound. What happened to John's sound? <laughs> John is talking, but there's no sound. Hey, what happened to John's sound? John, is John, watching, is John watching the live stream? <laughs> you oh. love that live stream, Tim. Oh. <laughs> hey, John, you're back. You have a question, please. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I can hear you now. Okay. Okay, so I think the most delicious food is um, green peas? I think that the most delicious food in the world is... Wait a minute. Are you joking? Yes, most kids... Wait, most most kids hate green peas, right? No. I it's love green peas. peas. All right, you guys, no. here we go. We're going to share that screen. <laughs> you no, guys are... Really... I like peas. You love these things? Pizza. Pizza. Yeah. Huh. The thing I said is chocolate mm. soup, not green peas. <laughs> I thought you said green peas, John. <laughs> I think I he says ice cream. Soup. Oh, ice cream. I'm sorry. Thank you, John, the other John. Hey, wait a minute. This is a joke for ah. Tim. Green peas. Let's, hey, if you like, maybe you like this, John. Are you ready? We're going to put green peas inside ice cream, and let's see what that looks like. And I, do you think this is possible? They put green peas in ice cream? Oh, yes, they do. What do you guys think? Would you like to try this? Oh, mom. Ice cream. Oh, oh my God. God. Green peas. I love them. Wow. Green. 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 Peace in the ice cream. Where's our chef? It sucks. It sucks. It's absolutely sucks. I have a name. <laughs> Daikin, have you tried it? Uh, let's just say uh, I did. Where did you try this? Oh, green cream bacon. ice cream. You guys bacon with green peas <laughs> ice cream. Bacon. <laughs> that looks like a rabbit. <laughs> oh, That's rabbit. like a rabbit. That's really gross. Rabbit. Oh my god. Milk are. pea. Oh my god. Oh more green peas and ice cream, you guys. I don't know about that. All right. Hey Bone, do you have a question? Bone has the reaction to that. Hey Bone, what do you think? Uh like sometimes I like green peas and sometimes no. Yeah. Now in Japan, do you guys do they sell this snack in Vietnam? It's called um edamame. Do you know edamame? Edamame are these really healthy Japanese green peas. Um, like your grandfather maybe eats this with um, um, beer. They eat them like potato chips. Do you guys have this in Vietnam, edamame? <clears throat> so these are silky. 
there's some I want to see some. So you break it open with your fingers. So it looks like this. And it's called edamame. It's soybeans, you guys. It's not green peas. Ah, it's green beans. I see. Do you guys know this? Yeah. And when you break it open, you get this nice big green soybean inside. And these are really delicious. I love edamame. Yeah. And they're good for you. Yeah, I love it. You can get those at a sushi restaurant. Yeah. Okay, you guys, we have five more minutes, so I just want to show you the homework one more time so you understand. We've already done a lot of the homework for you guys because I wanted you guys to have a chance to do a little homework in class. So uh, let me Peter. see it. Yes. Peter. Who is that? Hey. Can't wait. Are you? The teacher. Mia's freezing. What's happening, free Mia? <laughs> Frozen Mia. What's going on here, buddy? I, I saw her. I saw her. Okay, are you there now? Can I set? Yeah. All right. Can I set, like, can we get the students into the main room again to show the homework? Oh, we are. We're all in the main room, Mia. Everybody came back. Teacher Tony and Teacher Ewing brought all the students back. So we're all here. <laughs> okay. Um, so you guys, the sample paragraph, one more time. Uh, Mia, can you read this one? Mia, are you there? Mia froze. Oh, no, it's frozen Mia. Yeah. Uh, Mia, can you read this, the sample paragraph, one more time? I really love to eat Indian, Indian Italian. food. <laughs> Italian food. I Indian. like tomato sauce spaghetti with a little meat. It's, a, it's very delicious. Yes. I like to eat it once a week. However, oh. the good old-fashioned American hamburger stacked with high, stacked high with cheese, bacon, tomatoes, and onions is more delicious than spaghetti. Mm -hmm. Lastly, Deep fish, mm. Chicago, Chicago style <laughs> pizza is the most delicious food in the whole world. Mm. The big pizza packed with cheese and tomatoes is a great mix of Indian, Italian, Italian. <laughs> and American food tradition. Yeah. I can easily recommend all three types of food, but Chicago pizza is the king of food in my admission. Uh, estimation. estimation. That's like how I think about it. Okay, so when you do your homework, you guys try to use however, try to use lastly, try to use first, try to use second. Let me ask Ellis. Ellis, how are you today? I didn't ask you any questions. Oh, I'm sorry, Ellis. <laughs> Ellis, um, can you tell us your favorite foods? Like delicious, um, most delicious. <clears throat> my favorite food is chocolate chip ice cream. Oh my gosh, I used to eat so much of that, Ellis. But my doctor in Japan said no more sweets, right? <laughs> so what do you think is just delicious? Just delicious. Um, just delicious. Yeah. I think it's um spaghetti because mm. I think it's too salty sometimes. Uh, like, so it's, the chili be kind. Ah, uh, okay. So it's spaghetti is like just okay, but chocolate ice cream is a uh, chocolate chip ice cream is most delicious. Ellis, what do you put in the middle? What do you think is like in between um, spaghetti and chocolate uh, chip ice cream? What's right in the middle? <clears throat> uh, maybe chicken. Chicken, okay. Fried chicken? Fried chicken. All right. All right, Ellis, thank you. I'm sorry I didn't call on you more tonight. I got just so busy talking about delicious foods. Teacher Yuin and Teacher Tony, what was your impression? Do you think the students are ready to go to talk about delicious, more delicious, and most delicious? 
Yeah, I think they're ready. Yeah, Did sure. they have a good good session in the breakout room with you? Yeah, like each person, like each student, they have a chance to talk about uh, their comparison with yeah. their own, yeah, their own things. But like, uh, <laughs> yeah, um, they still some students they still like, uh, um, they still don't you know like they don't actively use their comparison structure. Like, do they yeah. have to use it? We have to remind them. Yeah, because it's kind of the lesson for tonight. They really need yeah, to yeah. get that comparative structure going, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, thanks, Dewey. How about Tony? What do you? What was your impression? Did your students in the breakout room have a good understanding of that comparing structure, comparative? Yes, teacher. That we have wonderful time. The most impressive is the the most uh, safety is uh working. They say oh. that it's more safety. Okay. Now, do you think they should do food for their homework or they should do transportation as dangerous, more dangerous? What do you sure, think? Teacher. Yes, it's yeah, great, teacher. Sure. Okay. So you guys do food because you guys were so excited about food. All right. But if you send me a message, you could do dangerous stuff to you guys. Like this animal is dangerous. This animal is more dangerous. This is the most dangerous animal, right? So if you want to change it, you can, if it's exciting to you. But I just chose food because people like uh, Mia and uh, Tim and Daiken, you guys are like me. You love food. <laughs> right. Teacher, how yes. about the United, United Nations? The United Nations. Ah, Let's see. They do a lot of work in Africa, Tim. So I think maybe the United Nations people eat zebras and cheetahs. <laughs> oh. Oh. All right, you guys. Can we say good night? I'm beginning to cough because the night air is really cold. Oh, okay. Good night, teacher. <laughs> Goodbye, teacher. Goodbye, Alice. Goodbye, Goodbye teacher. Tony. Thanks, Bone. Bye, nice work. Thanks, Kevin and Mimi. Thanks, you guys. Bye, bye, Tony. Bye, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Take care. Good night, you guys. Thank you very much. Good night, have a, teacher. Have a great have a good day. John, good night, everyone. Good night, John, 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 John. Bye, bye, Dewey. Thank you very much. Bye, bye.